I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Hammer Trinidad. Day, I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Hammer Trinidad. Fun day, I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Hammer Trinidad. I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Hammer Trinidad. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. We have a fun show for you guys today. We have you have a we have a great show for you guys. We have a fun show for you guys today. We have a special Valentine's Day show for you guys today. It's great to be back. We have a great show for you guys today. So let's get started. So let's get started. So let's get started. So let's get started. Today, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started right away and send it over to Holly Haynes with a special announcement. Good morning. As you can tell by that amazing intro, I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Hammer Trinidad. And don't worry, you don't have to deal with Joe or Lindsay for the next three weeks, so let's get started. And continuing on with the happy news, we want to congratulate the Liberty North speech and debate team for winning first in the sweepstakes at the Neo Show Classic Tournament out of 36 schools. In the individual categories, Mac Newton placed first in original oratory, Connor Paulson placed first in humorous interp, and Bryce Tinkham placed first in dramatic interp. And if you don't have anything to do this weekend, Head up to watch The Elephant Man here Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock. It's $10 for adults and only $5 for students. Now, Hammer, I know you're a huge fan of The Bachelor. Oh, yes, definitely. If Courtney doesn't win, I'm never watching again, though. Well, I've been told that the beginning broadcasting class has an exclusive interview with Nick Vile himself. Let's check it out. We really had her going all the way. Well, North, today we have a show for you that's going to have an exclusive interview with none other than the Nick Vile, a.k.a. The Bachelor. Yeah! Woo! Uh, first off, Nick, we'd like to thank you for being on the show today. Yeah, no problem. I love coming back to my hometown and seeing my old school and get to be back in this place. So, Nick, I've got to ask what everyone's wondering. Why did you send Corinne home? Well, you know, Sydney, thanks for asking that. A lot of people out there in America are wondering, and the simple thing is I just wasn't feeling it anymore. You know, I feel like she had more feelings for the nanny than she did me, and at the end of the line, it's all about me. All right. I understand your reasons now. They're pretty valid. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. So, I know this is your third time being on The Bachelor, so do you think you're going to find the right one this time? You know, women are very complicated. You can never understand them. Just like last night, uh, my ex showed up out of nowhere. So, we'll see what goes on this season, but I'm having a good feeling. I, I think I found the one. That's good. We're rooting for you here. Thank you. Same here. I think I might apply to be The Bachelor someday myself. <laughs> okay. Well, Nick, we've got one more thing for you. Bryce, can you bring her in? Oh, we got, we got Corinne in the studio? Yes. Yeah. All right, Nick, you've got one minute to talk to Corinne and tell her what you've been meaning to say all day long. Okay. <clears throat> Corinne, we've been needing to have this talk. You know, ever from the start, I just really liked you. Your outfits were always very beautiful. Um, you just sat there. You listened to everything I had to say. You never cut me off. Never told me no. But... At the end of the day, you're just a little stiff for me, and I, I, I can't have that. Um, is there? Do we have a rose in here? Can I get, here you go, can I get this rose? Corinne, I just want you to know something. This is the closest you're going to get to the final rose, and I'm sorry, but I just can't have it. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all. All right. All right. Well, North, you were first to see that interview. Make sure you watch Monday night at 7 to see what happens with Nick. Thanks for tuning in today. Obviously, that was not Nick Vile. No, apparently that was some guy named Nick Schoen, I think. I don't know. I don't know what the beginning broadcasting class was thinking. That, that made no sense. All Neither right, do I. let's go over to Peyton and Jordan with sports. What is going on, Liberty North? Welcome back to North Nation Sports. I'm Peyton Price. We're going to get started out with some girls basketball from last night. The North ladies were taking on William Crispin in a semifinal game of the district tournament. Coming off a big first round win, the Eagles were not able to keep up the hot shooting against the Bears last night. They struggled to score throughout the night, but were able to keep the game within striking distance going into the fourth. But Crispin was just too much as they pulled away late with a 53-39 win. This knocks the Eagles out of the district tournament and unfortunately ends their season. Great season to the girls basketball team and great careers by the four seniors, Destiny, BB, Lizzie, and Kelsey. In other news, outside of North Athletics, the Chiefs put pen to the paper with their franchise safety. This was a long time coming as Eric Berry signs a $78 million deal with a $20 million signing bonus to remain with Kansas City for six more years. This makes Eric the highest paid safety in the NFL and is well deserved as he has been a defensive playmaker and leader for the Chiefs his whole career. 
The Chiefs also released longtime running back Jamal Charles on Tuesday, shortly after signing running back C.J. Spillers a free C.J. Spiller a few days earlier. Jamal Charles was a fan favorite in KC, but knee injuries derailed his career as he hasn't been able to stay healthy in two years. Releasing Charles frees some money for the Chiefs to work with now as they just gave a ton of dough to Barry. The Chiefs can also still bring back Jamal on a lesser contract if both sides can strike a deal. Jamal Charles is the leading rusher in Chiefs history. Chiefs are also expected to put the franchise tag on defensive tackle Don Terry Poe before Wednesday's deadline. Don Terry is a free agent as of now, and both sides are reportedly nowhere near a new deal. The franchise tag will bring Poe back to the Chiefs for the 2017 season. This has been another edition of North Nation Sports. I'm Peyton Price. Have a great Wednesday, Eagle, Hammer, and Brent, throwing it back to you. Thanks, guys. And on a more serious note, in 2002, almost 11 million people died of infectious diseases. Liberty North students are pairing up with Project Cure to raise money for medicine and care packages. So to help this cause, go to North Cure 2017 and go to their GoFundMe page in their bio. Hey, you should definitely check that out. It should be a great cause. And definitely. until tomorrow, we'll catch, catch you on, on the, the north, north side. side. And please stand with us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.